running for president. Of the United States? Shirley is a Netflix biopic centered around Shirley Chisholm's historic run for president. In 1972, Chisholm, the first black woman elected to Congress, became the first African American to seek a major party's nomination for president. It's a story Regina and Raina have wanted to tell for years. You guys tried to make this film for more than a decade before it actually happened. Raina, what kept you from giving up on this project? Hmm. Just the, as the years were going by and still now to this day, that I can ask somebody, do you know who Shirley Chisholm is? And they don't know who she is. Shirley began filming in Cincinnati in late 2021. It was a homecoming of sorts for the sisters who also play sisters in the film. Yeah. Our mother is from Cincinnati, so we have a lot of family there. She... Our, yeah, our mother went to Walnut Hills High School. <laughs> oh, <evil. laughs> yeah. While Regina and Raina often spend holidays in Cincinnati with their family, they saw the city through a different lens this time. I've heard a lot of people say, she's from Cincinnati. She don't even claim Cincinnati. I claim Cincinnati, I would say, is like my second home, but I'm not from Cincinnati, and I... This is my first time, our first time getting an experience of Cincinnati that no we way. had never gotten outside of our grandmother's church, all of our cousins and, you know. And our, everybody who lives four miles away from each other in the same radius. <laughs> Some of the local landmarks featured in the movie are Arnold's Bar and Grill, Piat Park, the Cincinnati Club, the Dayton Street Historic District, and City Hall. That's where city manager Cheryl Long makes a brief cameo in the film alongside King. I remember seeing her come out. Uh, she's, she's very quiet. You can, you can tell, you always hear about people talking about they go into this mode for acting um, and that they, they, they go into the character. And so she was very quiet. She was very focused. Um, she was just, just uh, you could tell, just a true professional. While Long's time on the screen is quick, she said her days on set were long. And I'm telling you, I have a better appreciation for actresses and actors because the window in which the time they have to sit at set is insane. And so it was like, you need to be here at 7 a.m. and then we'll be done at potential like, the day was, I, I can't even tell you, it was like 8 p.m. I'm like, I can't do that. I'm, I'm assistant running the city. I can't, I can't do that. And Shirley Chisholm was a congresswoman from New York on a mission for change. If I can't get the nomination, I can still get delegates. And if we can control some of the delegates, we can still force change at the convention. Get delegates from where? So Shirley premieres only on Netflix this Friday, March 22nd. Cincinnati, it is a hot place to make movies right now. A film starring Sylvester Stallone just wrapped filming in the Tri-State. I'm sure you saw pictures of that all over social media. Another movie is in progress right now in Northern Kentucky. No word just yet on who is starring in that one. And the executive director of Film Cincinnati says the rest of 2024, quote, proves to be busy. You have some great tax credits that are helping us lure them. And then once they're here, they realize that we have an incredible crew base. There are skilled technicians and artists to support your projects. We have talent that can be in front of the camera, so you're not flying them in from all over. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.